driven by pure fear in Alberta. And Jeez. that's, you know what? I, I understand that because I remember, you know, I always, I never understood because I'd watch your genius and I'm like, how is she nervous or anything? She's so good. But I guess that's what makes us tick, doesn't it? You don't really see what other people see. I think, you know, you're just, you want to do well and you don't want to let anybody down. And I think for me coming into a space where everything had been going and going so well, and I knew you guys from watching you as a fan, right? I mean, I cast your show and, you know, for the background and stuff like that. We talked about that a lot, but it really makes it a little bit more strange when all of a sudden you're inserted into that world. So it's kind of bizarre. And so the last thing you want to do is be be of any kind of detraction or anything of what's going on. So I think I put a lot of heavy stuff on that I didn't need to. Well, but with that said, Lois was doing the same thing. It was life imitating art. Lois was kind of coming into this thing and being like, what are all these people doing? Not necessarily caring how she was going to fit in, which was the difference, but, um, right. you know, <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> and she spoke her internal dialogue, which was something no character had done before. And yeah. I just thought there, but you, you brought the age level up. And I mean that in a respectful way, like we weren't just talking about like high school stuff anymore. We were yeah. talking about real things. And I think I just told you this when we were in Nashville that we had watched the episode yeah. you aired in. And along with Jensen, actually, you guys were sitting together when I was talking about it, which was even more fun. But um, <laughs> I think Ryan nailed it on the head. I don't really have anything else to say. Yeah. Well, yeah, you did. You did. What was your, you know, you, you were always nervous before, like when we were, you're about to film. But what was it like? You're in casting, you're casting the show. You're, you know, a lot of people don't know that, but you were casting, unless you listen to my podcast inside of you plug cheap plug but honestly you were doing that and when you got the audition were you even more nervous than when you got the role um no because i was rather disenfranchised at that point and i had mentioned that before i i said i was sitting in the car waiting to go in and i called my manager and i was like i, I don't want to do this they're gonna cast la <laughs> everybody's la I so hear you. i don't know and you know you hear actors say that a heck of a lot so what i will say as a proviso because it's so annoying when actors who have done well go, I didn't really care and I didn't want to do it. And I walked out and everybody loved me and I'm amazing. No, like I really was working at it. I started in background myself and all of those things. So it wasn't as if I hadn't tried to earn my stripes in some way or another, but um, yeah. So I think that there is a different energy that I brought in because at that point I, he just says, just go and create, treat it as an exercise. I was like, okay, I'll do that. And um, it just, whatever I was doing at that time fit the bill of what they were looking for for the representation of what they wanted to do for Lois. And I was just super lucky to be, um, to, to be able to fit it. And of course, David Nutter had introduced me to LA world a year before. So then I kind of knew Warner brothers and I knew Peter and all those things kind of were in my favor. Right. You know, for getting how to how much it. work did you put into how, how much did you dissect each script? Because everyone has their sort of plan or, or, or what they do to prepare for, scenes to prepare for an episode but your process had to be i feel more more intense how did you dissect it <laughs> what maybe because i am <laughs>